Hey guys, what's up? Dude Long Couch here, Longest of the Couches. Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. I would like to pull this thing out and see if I can open it, but this bitch is in the way. <laughs> I don't know if I can... I can lift the lid on it, but I don't think I can move it. Oh boy. This thing probably doesn't open anyway. So you guys may recall, we made some progress down here in the prison in the last video. We got the empty glass jar. Which I'm pretty sure I gotta backtrack my way to the kitchen and fill it with acid. And then probably use that on a padlock. That's my running theory right now. So hopefully we will soon be done with this area because that flesh monster guy is... Kinda dogging our steps right now. He's popping up down here with alarming regularity. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to a better area or not. Maybe we're gonna be... Stuck with him for the rest of the game, and whoa, what is this? This isn't right. What is this weird, bright overlay on my inventory screen? Okay, I'm experiencing some kind of graphical problem right now. Um, I hope this doesn't affect the recording or anything. I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, health is good. Sanity, they're both okay. They're not great, but they're okay. We've got the glass jar. We've got a little bit of oil in our lantern, and we've got one extra jar. Okay, I guess it's time to venture back out here. As usual, I can't see a fucking thing, so I'm not really going to have much choice but to use this. For most of the time that I'm out here. Okay. Yep, yep, he's, he's close. He's nearby. I heard him before I even saw him. I heard him and then the music kicked in. Don't make noise, don't make noise. This is the type of situation where if he busted down that door, it would just be over. He would just take me out, and there's nothing I could do about it. I could throw a barrel at him. For some reason, I don't think that's really going to slow him down all that much. Alright, music's done. careful. So, I need to find my way back to the kitchen. Here's a padlock. It's in excellent condition. Man, there's a tinderbox right there. But I know they're not going to let me through. Um, I should just try. I don't remember if I've tried this already. Let's try the hand drill on this. Padlock remains unaffected by the event. It's a weird way of saying that. Let's try the chipper. Nope. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need acid. Alright. I'm sure this would be a relatively short trip if I actually knew the way. Problem is, I don't. This whole issue is, hey... Not sure... Did I, I must have missed this stuff before. Either that or it repopulated since I reloaded my game. But in either case, I'll definitely take them. But yeah, I, I really only want to be recording this game at nighttime. And uh, the way my work schedule works out, I only have a handful of opportunities to record, like, in a given week, so... Not that I really think I could handle... I'll, you know, a ton of this game at one time, but, uh, yeah, I only get to record every so often, and, uh, it makes it kind of hard to remember things, especially, like, the layout of these areas. Luckily, there's signage for us. It's gotta be this way. I don't know where I'm gonna go if that motherfucker pops up again, though. I don't know if, like, uh... I haven't been running very much. I don't know if that, like, draws him to you more quickly. Like, it's possible that draws attention to you in a bad way. I think this is the kitchen up here. Yes. Fuck.
Okay. Is he going to come up in here? He sounds pretty close. Okay. I'm just going to hide here. And hope he doesn't come back this way. Part of me really wants to peek out. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, yep, yep, he's there. Yep. We'll just wait for him to go. I do have to say this much. If this is going to be happening for the rest of the game, this is... It's, it's actually a little annoying. Uh, because you, you can't do anything besides run and hide and wait it out. And it's... It's intense on some level, but once you get used to it, it becomes much less effective, I think. I just need this music to go away. Okay, I think we're good now. So, this stuff. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to click on it because I think that's probably going to burn my hand off if I do that. We'll take the glass jar. Glass jar holds the acid safely. Sweet. So now the question becomes... Where exactly do I take this to use it? So I've run into like... Uh, I think at least three different padlocks. And they're all of varying strength. Some of them are in excellent condition. Some of them are crappy. Maybe it was only two. I think maybe I, I hit... One of them from like the other side. When I went through the tunnel. It's very hard to say. Okay, that's a locked door. Wait, so, okay, this is a padlock door, but it's on the other side. So I doubt I could use that here. Well, let's try it at least. It would do no good. Okay. I don't know if it refused that because the padlock was on the other side, or because that's not the solution to the puzzle. But really the only thing I can think to try right now is to somehow make my way back... ...to the padlock that I can reach, and try it there. And I know that it was close to the storage area, so if I follow signage for that... Uh, should be this way. Let's try and cover some ground quickly. Is it this way? Yeah. Was it the whole way back here? Storage. Yeah. No, it was right up here. Yes, got it. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let's light this guy. I can't light him. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to hang out in the dark while I try this, I guess. It would do no good. Shit! Oh, man. That is unfortunate. I really thought that was gonna be a good solution to that puzzle. I, I honestly believe that in my heart of hearts. Now I don't know what to do. Now I am wandering aimlessly in the dark. Fuck. Um, there's nothing in there. Is she dead? I don't know who you're talking about. I don't think I care. Okay, well, that way leads back to the kitchen, so let's go this way. And there goes all my oil. Lovely. I do have two jars, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I th I'm probably going to have to. I can't see a goddamn thing. I've lit a fair amount of torches. But not enough. Okay, here's another one. This one's in very poor condition. Let's try all my tools on this one. 
Too weak. No, okay, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We have some oil in our lantern now. Padlock won't break, needs to be weakened further. Okay. Daniel is not enjoying sitting here in the dark, so let's, let's get this done. I hope this works. Yes! Okay. Um, now what? This? Yeah! I hear him. I, oh shit, he's close. Entrance to cistern. Okay, I'm going through. Because I heard the monster thing breathing. Oh boy, where am I now? I mean, I know I'm in the cistern, but like, what is this place? So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess we've made it to a new area. Did, uh, did my sanity go up at all? From making progress? Crystal clear, yeah. Awesome. And this, uh, this place is actually relatively bright and feels kind of safe. That could be an illusion, but who knows. Also, it's kind of killing my frame rate. Um, I was getting a pretty solid 30 up until this part. The lever is stuck. Its gears need to be greased. Okay. By the way, did that use up? Yeah, that was all the acid. I have an empty jar now. Alright. Um... Let's try and go through this door here. Won't budge. Sweet. So that lever is probably going to drop the ladder if I can bring it down. Now, I know that there was like a lot of places in the prison area that I didn't actually access. Like, there were other padlocks that I didn't get through. And I may have even missed things that I just didn't find at all, because the place is kind of maze-like. Water's too deep to traverse safely. Shit. I mean, I'm traversing it right now, it just doesn't lead anywhere. Okay. So we're not going that way. Uh, but yeah, the fact that there's a padlock back there, at least one more that I know of, Kind of makes me think we might be going back there at some point. And that thought really makes me sad. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. <laughs> Fuck that place. This cistern seems alright so far. Except for there's nowhere to fucking go in here. Fuck, man. Thought I'd try the other door. Okay, hold up. So I have right here. I don't have anything that can grease it already, do I? Still got that hollow needle that I picked up ages ago. I mean, oil was... Oil would, would grease it up, wouldn't it? I don't know. I can't really, like, manipulate the oil. As soon as I click it, it goes into the lantern, so... Oh, hey, look at this. What does that say? Oil drainage. Okay. I'm glad I spotted that. That's another thing right there that would have been way easier to spot if I actually had my lantern out. Alright, got a glass jar of oil. Wow, this, this place is really rough on the frame rate. I don't know what it is about this area. Might be all that leaking water. Yeah. Go. 
really? A broken pipe is blocking the ladder. However, it got somewhat damaged by the impact. Well, do it again. <laughs> Alright, third time's a charm. Video games. Yeah! Three times. Okay, good. For a second there, I was really afraid I was going to go have to go back into the prison area. I don't want to do that, ever. Control room. The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. What are they talking about? Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. So, who exactly is Herbert again? I've heard that name in a couple different flashbacks and scrolls and things like that, but I don't really know who he is or how he fits into the story here. If anybody wanted to explain that in a comment, I would appreciate it. I know a lot of you uh, already kind of know the story here. Um, and just kind of understand it better than I do, because you've already played or watched the game before. Obviously, you know, please don't post any spoilers for stuff we haven't gotten to yet, but, if, you know... A little summary, uh, or like just a little character breakdown would be pretty cool. This place is kind of scary, too. But it's not as bad as the prison. A heavy gate. Alright, Daniel can't lift that. Apparently. Oh, we got a wheel. Okay, it's one of those deals. It's gonna slowly come back down. Well, well, we'll fuck with that in a second. Let's check out what's in here. Light that bitch. Got a little piece of pipe. That's clearly gonna be a puzzle piece. We're gonna... I think this is gonna be like Machinery Puzzle Part 2 right here. I can already see this. I can see this puzzle taking form. Give me that. Yeah, now that I think about it though... That other padlock that I couldn't get through, I saw a tinder box right on the other side of it. Maybe it's just like a bonus area. If you figure out how to get through it, you get a bunch of supplies. But it might not be something that's absolutely vital to do. And, uh, you know, my philosophy with my Let's Plays is that I really like to show everything that I possibly can. Uh, but I, I also strike a balance with that. Um... I'm very rarely going to 100% a game, especially on a blind playthrough. And, uh... I don't want to spend a ton of time doing something that I just don't enjoy, because... That's not why I do this. I'd like to entertain you guys, but I'm also going to be playing games that I actually want to play. Because I think that just makes for a better series, it makes for a better long couch. And that's my philosophy. Get the fuck over here. So... I don't know if, if there's, like, another valve on the other side of this door. And I don't want to get stuck over there. So, I'm going to try to prop this bitch open. Uh, oh, come back, come back. Uh. Okay. That's a very janky job, but I think it'll work. Now stay. Stay there. Okay, there is a handle on this side, but whatever. Now I don't have to mess with it, which is cool. Okay, guys, um, we've got three doors here. We've got a large machinery puzzle taking shape, and I think we're relatively safe for right now. So I'm happy with things in this video, the way this has gone. Uh, sorry for the jank frame rate. It's, uh, it's kind of annoying me but not much I can do about it. Um, the game just isn't running that great. This should, my rig should be more than enough. 
Uh, so I'm not sure why it's dropping below 30. Um, hmm, it's weird. But in any case, guys, we will pick up here next time. Thank you so very much for watching. This series has gotten a lot of support, a lot of good comments, and I really appreciate it. I love hearing from you guys. I love the interaction, so keep it up, and I will catch you guys in the next part. I'll see ya.